and this morning I'm going to demonstrate our community speed watch system. As you can see the system is very portable, very lightweight and contained within this small briefcase. We're going to demonstrate how the system is set up by the side of the road. So let's just walk across the road. To save a bit of time, we've set up a tripod already. To set the system up, the first thing you do once you set the tripod up is take this small locating device out of the briefcase and simply attach it to the tripod. This is the seat that the radar sits on when you set the, uh, the system up. The various components of the system are the radar, the tablet, the tablet charger, the radar charger and the tripod. So next we're going to put the radar system onto the tripod. As you can see there are no on and off switches. The way in which it switches on and off is simply by seating it on top of this. And the radar is pointing in this direction. Now that we've seated the radar on the tripod, you can see there's a green slow flashing light. That denotes the fact that the radar is fully charged. When that turns to amber, that indicates that the radar will need recharging uh, fairly soon, maybe another half an hour's worth of use. The other display facet on the radar is the speed thresholds that you can set the radar to. As you can see it's currently set at 15 and one way in which one can change those thresholds is simply by pressing here. So we're going through the cycling through 20, 30, 40, 50, back to 15. And for the purposes of this demonstration we're going to set it to 20 miles an hour. So we've set the radar up, it's activated and ready to go. The next thing we need to do is turn on the tablet that we supply with the system. The Speedwatch system can work with a number of tablets and can work with your own um, mobile phone, a smartphone device. It doesn't have to be with this one, but we supply a tablet with the system. To switch the tablet on, you just drag across and then you have the, uh, the, the interface activated. As you can see, we set it to 20 miles an hour on the radar, but if we want to set it to a different speed threshold, the other way we can do that is by simply tapping on these icons here. So let's reset it to 20 for the purposes of this demonstration. The various different displays um, on the tablet. First of all, it, it's the target speed of the vehicle that you're monitoring. Then there's the maximum speed that that target vehicle um, achieves at any point during the, the survey. So if a vehicle decelerates, the maximum speed they were going will be retained there. And then the maximum recorded uh, field shows the highest speed that you will record at any point during a particular speed watch session and that will be saved until the end of that session. The green bar here, this bar will change colour, it will stay at green until 20 is reached and then it will go to amber for the, the, uh, the speed period of the ACPO guidelines above a limit as it's just done there. we can see that the vehicle that's just passed us had a maximum speed of 22 miles an hour and at that point the bar went to amber. Then above the uh, ACPO, uh, at the point at which the ACPO enforceable limit is reached, this bar will go to red. So we're now set up and ready to start monitoring. <clears throat> a couple of things to mention. One is that volunteers are able to move quite a long way away from this at least five meters away 
This is a useful feature because it means that from a safety point of view, they're further away from the road and they're a little bit less uh, obtrusive. The reason we developed this device was that we felt that the traditional radar gun that is used is quite a confrontational device. A lot of drivers don't like the idea of having the gun pointed at them um, when enforcement or when, uh, when community speed watch is taking place and that can lead to confrontation between drivers and volunteers. This is a much more passive and non-confrontational system and that's really why we felt it was a useful development in the market. So we're now going to demonstrate it with a vehicle coming towards us. We go 20 miles an hour, the maximum speed is 21, it drops down to 13. Okay, so we're going to take another run. You can see the LED here illuminating, also to denote the speed. And the driver that's just been passed at one point just about hit uh, 25 miles an hour, at which point the bar became red. Another vehicle coming towards us now. The LED is illuminated red, and you can see the red flashing bar and the, the target maximum speed, 31 miles an hour. And this is the maximum speed we've recorded during this particular speed watch session. So that concludes the demonstration. That's the Traffic Technology Community Speedwatch system. If you're interested and would like to hear more, please contact us at sales at traffic technology dot co dot uk